Okay, this is the start of the campaign. Well, setting up anyway. This is the first game, first four-way game. It's not actually part of the campaign. It is <coughs> decides who goes where on the campaign. Player one, player two, player three, player four. So the point of this game is going to have eight objectives, as you can see. Each one's got a number on the bottom. <coughs> it is objectives primary, then it's normal secondary lay. And then it is kill points, kill points and of uh, kill points and victory points. Okay, we've uh, set up now for the four-way open up of the campaign. Uh, first of all, we're going to do image the armies, and then we're going to deploy and start first turn. So, player one is the Tyranids. Tell us what you got. Hive target HQ winged. Normally HQ now with troop Turvagon with the ten Turvagans. Five Gamal Dream Stealers, which are elites. Uh, deep Stagum. They infiltrate. Oh, hidden setup. Yeah. Uh, one uh, Tyrant Guard, or Hive Guard. Hive Guard? Yep. Yeah. And ten Gargoyles, fast attack. Okay. After the Tyranids, after the Black Templars, we have two Crusader squads. Six and five, six and four. Dreadnought with. It's a multi battle, but it's actually an assault cannon because all the parts didn't come for it. And exactly, so the first. Twice we have a mighty marshal with storm shield, thunder hammer, terminate rama, and three typhoons. And that's it. On to the chaos side now. Chaos. Right. 20 cultists, 10 cultists, 6 of havocs, chaos lord, demon prince, and the five. What are the havocs laid out with? Four water cannons. Four water cannons again. And now the Blood Angels, what have we got? We've got a Librarian HQ, a Technical Squad with a Lance Cannon, a Plasma Gun and a Sergeant with a Combi Plasma. A Ten Man Assault Squad, Sergeant with a Power Fist, two uh, Melter Guns in there and two Dagger Preds. Preds. And this is the table, we have <coughs> eight objectives. Each one is numbered one to eight. And we find them out when you uncover them what they are. So it could cause a average towards the end of the game to get the eighth point. And two is up to go first. Then Black Templar. Then Chaos. Then Blood Angels. And then for turn two we will draw one to four numbers every turn to decide the turn, the order of turns after that. We're going, to just, we're going to just do updates on the um, end of the turns, but this fight could be epic. Okay, we come back for the uh, fight between the Demon Prince and the Hive Tyrant. Strength 10? Strength 10. <laughs> the Demon Prince has 11 Strength 10 attacks with his Demon Sword. Oh, well. Threes, then. Threes, and threes first. No, I'm looking at. So do your threes. Shit. Ooh. Five. Okay, now to wound you've got strength 10. You know what tough to say, so it's twos. Twos to wound. Twos to wound, yeah. Got in wounds. Okay. One, two, three. Only got five. 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 Five, five wounds. So you five, five pluses. <laughs> uh, four. Two. Take three wounds. Which is still nothing, Colin. He's got three, and he has three wounds left. Now the thing is, you'll get to hit your back. I'm going to hit him back. Seven attacks, so, hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. That one, that one, that one, that one. So six hit, Oops. and you need twos to... So yeah. I have lots of ones. Wounded on twos. Wounded on twos. All of them. Six, six wounds, so you've got six, is it five plus for your six demons? Five then? pluses. My turn this is this battle here. Six. This. Good. Good. 
Oh, he's gone. Field on three. And it goes. They both go down swinging. Mm. Wow. Here we are, top of turn one. Just one button turn two. So that's what happened. The two minutes pushed up towards the Chaos Quadrant. The Hive Tyrant with wings. Objective three. Oh, yeah, the other turn there, objective is a three pointer. You can see there. The Hive Tyrant. We've got it on the Demon Prince here. The Demon Prince had 11 strength and attacks. They kill each other. The Defiler's tied up and caught with those gargoyles. We have an 8 recovered over here, so Kev's holding the key point at the moment. These cutlets pushed out of the Blood Angels quadrant and got well, about cut in half. Blood Angels pushed out and up. They fired at the Dreadnought seven. and the Speeder. And they recovered a 7. Where's that one? And there it is. And I recovered a 6. Black, Black Templar. Black Templar fired at the Turbogon, took up two wounds and took two cutlets to win. And that is the end of turn one. We're going to draw now for the aura for turn two. On it? Yeah. Yes. Whoever goes first announces it. Yeah, and then you just keep yourself. Keeps the truth. Okay, put them down. Okay, turn two. Who is going first? It's not me. It's not me. <laughs> okay. Kevin goes first. Kevin goes first. Top of turn two. Well, right, here we are at the end of turn two. So we'll start turn three. Two minutes, two minutes are still holding their three pointer. The combat in here has turned very messy. The, the two big are down. Now we've got the Turbogon, is it? Yeah, Turbogon. Turbogon fighting the Defiler with the goggles in support. I've got still in there. Cutlists are holding their eight pointer. Company cutlists are winning. Nine. He's on seven, six, and four. The Blood Angels, Dirty Blood Angels, have taken out two of my speeders. Pushed them into the ruins, pushed them into the ruins. That is immobilized. They have deep stroke. And they're hiding behind the tank. Deep stroke, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a deep stroke. The Templars are moving up. They'll, they moved up here. Marshall in there, Dreadnought there. They're both immobilised, direct, and this squad's holding the points. And heading into turn three, more to come. Okay, here we are in turn three. As you can see, what's happened now? Nids are still holding that point. This combat's got really messy. Uh, Turbogon's still alive on one wound. Goggles are staying there. We've got. The last contingent of chaos is the small amount of cultists there, surrounded by yeah. terminants. Uh, Blood angels are dirty and they've been very traitorous, so <laughs> they're hiding back here, as you as you'd expect. The Templars are bravely running towards them, with all the vehicles wrecked now, apart from one. Uh, and now we're going to draw for turn four orders. Uh, this is important because the Templars need to get a low number. He's already got the one that we smell for. I'm last. Did you pick one out of the last one? Please pick one. I'm not. You dirty bastard, Lee. I'm first. So there we go. The dirty blood angels. What we're doing now is, in a turn four, chaos has been tabled. A lot of thanks to the two nids spawning 41 gaunts from one Tethergon. <clears throat> Completely overwhelmed the Chaos forces. So for the campaign, the Chaos player will be player four. Nids are still holding their point. They're also holding that point. They also have Linebreaker and Slay the Warlord. And First Blood. And First Blood. And first blood. So, oh, you get Slay the Warlord. Oh, you played Slip of Blood, didn't you? So, yeah. So, Sorry. holding 8, plus 3, plus 3, 14 points. Blood Angels, in a turn 4, were surprised when the Imgal Gene Sealers popped up and assaulted that troop. He decided to, well, I assaulted 
that troop, so now he has both of his troops tied up. He's holding no points, but he does have Slay the Warlord, so a one point cushion at the moment. And his combat squad and librarian are in the ruins, but is holding no points. Yeah. Black Templars are holding six points, and we're at turn five. Uh, this is the final combat. Turn five, Tyranids. Threes! All hit! <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Wounding on threes. Three wounds. Three wounds. First guy. Dead. One dead. Dead. It's a five. So you get two hits back. Hit. One hit. Force to wound. Force to wound. Now you have toughness five on you. Oh. You wounded. How many saves? This one, Lee. Yes. So I got two attacks from Dreadnought. My two attacks. Nope. And I fluff it. Two power fist shots. One hit. One hit. Nothing. Good. It's now the Tyranids turn five. Consolidate. Okay, my turn. I get my two attacks. And I roll a one and a two again. Two, two attacks. attacks with your power fists. One, one hit. And he pens. Pens. Uh, weapon destroyed. Weapon destroyed. So, Assault Cannon 1 and 2, arm, 3 and 4. 4. The arm. Oh. Okay, that was it. That was it on turn 5. Uh, Nids pushed up. Angels 4, that combat was resolved. Gene Shield has won. This combat wasn't resolved, but the t Dreadnought lost its Dreadnought Close Combat Weapon. And can only now hit with strength 6 attacks. Oh, okay, sorry. Mortal they didn't do anything, remember Sorry. you said? I thought I killed them. I could have. Oh. Over there, they have got six, oh. seven. I could have 14. <clears throat> Daryl would have still won. Okay. End the game then. So there yes. we are. That's it. End of the game. Two minutes have won. Out of handshakes. Good. Ready? Game. There we go. Well so, as it stands, the two minutes just blitzed the board there. Spawned 41 Gaunts, just absolutely destroyed everything they touched. They hold a 2, a 3, and an 8, giving them 13. And they have First Blood and Slay the Warlord and Lane Breaker. And Lane Breaker. 16 points. So, 16 points. Blood Angels hold five. a 5, a 1, and a 1. And they have a Slay the Warlord. Slay the Warlord, 7. Black Templars held 6. And the Chaos player was tabled, so he's last. So, I the Warlord. Say the Warlord, one point. But if you get tabled, you won't last them. Did you get first blood? No, don't worry. So, as it turns out, player one in the campaign is Tyranids. Player two is Blood Angels. Hello. Player three is Black Templars. And player four is Chaos. And it's going to be an Escalation League. Starting with 550 points in round one, 750 round two, and so on. So. It's our first battle report, so don't uh, criticise it too badly. See you next time.